How's it going, everybody? I'm Mega Metal Man X, and welcome back to another episode of Luminous Avenger X 2. Okay, so last time we took down our first boss, first official Molly's boss. Such a good girl. I just want to be like, are you an angel? Did you just fall from heaven? Because you look like an angel. <sighs> okay, that's a strange delivery to come out on. Just to start things off with. Not gonna lie, that's a little weird. But it's Japan, so whatever. Anyway, what was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought there. Whew. Oh, great. Beat our first official boss last time. That was the Wasp Girl, known as Vespa, who is the first wind-based boss I've seen in the Gunvolt series, which is cool, because ever since Gunvolt 1, I've been curious as to, is there going to be a wind boss? Is there going to be an earth boss? Because there hasn't been any of those yet. I was I was hoping for either of those in Gunvolt 2. But there wasn't. So I was a little disappointed, and I thought, eh, maybe they'll make more. And eventually, yeah, it did come to that. But I will admit, they are kind of recycling old abilities. Case in point, this guy right here... Like, we already have a Fire Adept. That's Viper from the first game. So, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of redundant. Eh. I guess I can understand they're running out of ideas, but come on, you can be a little more creative. But these aren't quite Adepts, are they? They're robots. Because this is an alternate universe where humanity is, like, extinct. And it's only populated with these robots, or androids. And we don't know their purpose yet. But I have a feeling we will soon enough. I have no clue how it's possible there. It's very fascinating that those keys are our top priority right now. The gravekeeper for this block must be around here. Yeah. I hope they just came over. Mission start! Okay, can I unlock any new abilities yet? Wait, what did that say? Grounded marking. Allows lock on when colliding with enemies during a grounded... Okay! That'll be really helpful. Because it's kind of fucking with me that you can't tag enemies when you ground dash into them. You can only... Like I was saying in the first episode, you can... You can only tag them when you air dash. So yeah, that'll that'll be really helpful. Okay, switch. Switch weapons. Let's see what this does. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. It reminds me of the... EX weapon or whatever you call it from that you get from the helicopter guy in Mighty Number no. Nine. Except this one's better. Good. 
Oh god, my worst fears have come true. She's actually doing the one-liners in this game, too. Oh well. I guess I'll have to live with it. If I can't stand it, then I'll just change it to Japanese voices. What the hell? It's like a whole cluster of crystals in there. No, okay. You probably need a special weapon to get in there. Indiana Jones style! Ah! Oh! Oh man, the emblem was inside the boulder. Holy crap, you gotta be quick to get that. Anything up there? Nope. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I can unlock abilities like any time I want, right? Let's see here. Booyah. We're flying now. Oh shit! Okay, I was wondering why my combo attack wasn't working there. When you're tagged onto an enemy, you can't do that. Noted. God damn it. There was one like that in the last game. It was in the intro stage, I believe. Good. <laughs> 
Okay, this stage is giving me flame stag and, and fucking what's his name? Flammo vibes. Yeah, that part is like Flammo stage from Mega Man ZX. When you have to run away from the lava. I hated that stage. Holy shit, that was close. been that long since I've played a platformer game. I feel like my skills are getting a bit rusty. I think a bit would be an understatement. Anyways, looks like we're here at the boss now. You're making quite a racket, aren't you? It's been dozens. Hundreds of years. Holy crap! This is the guy I saw in, in the announcement trailer. Day sight, right? Or however you say that. He doesn't even look remotely human. He's supposedly the oldest one, right? Hundreds of years. So this guy's like over 300 years old, give or take. I'm not sure who started calling this place the Grave Pillar, but why not treat the dead with some respect and keep it down a little? Okay, Boomer. We have no intention of fighting you. Just hand over the key to the barrier, and we'll be on our way. Your request is denied. If you're trying to make off with the contents of this tower, that makes you grave robbers. My mission is to rid this place of such thieves. As workers, our purpose is to fulfill our mission by any means necessary. I, Daysight, Shall obliterate you with every last bit of firepower I have. On guard, grave robbers! Bring it, lizard man. Dodge this. 
successfully slice that guy in two. Welp. Meh. At least that's better than the rank I got on the last stage. Got EX weapon, Doomsday Charge, and the purple key. to open the security gate. We have no idea what could be lurking on the other side. Lola and I will go through first. We'll come back for you once we clear out the area. Wait by the entrance until then. Null, you keep an eye on Kohaku. Make sure she doesn't do anything rash. Yes, sir. You can count on me. Come on, you guys are so mean. You're the one who keeps acting without thinking. That's true. He's only looking out for you. Jeez. Okay, fine. I'll sit here quietly with Nock. Just please be careful. Okay, Copen? Yeah. Okay. Let's get that gate open. It's kind of lonely eating by myself. I know you don't need to eat, but could you join me for dinner? I'll think about it. I said I will think about it. The Doomsday Charge is an EX weapon that can be charged up. Not straightforward. At full power, it'll go straight through both terrain and shields. Oh, and if it hits a baddie, it'll leave behind a ball of fire. Oh, all right. That kind of sounds like the charge upgrade from Mega Man X4. Then when you charge up, it leaves behind a ball of plasma, dealing additional damage to any enemies that it happens to be in vicinity with. I'm pretty sure there are some obstacles you'll only be able to destroy using this bad boy. If you stumble across something suspicious, charge up and blast it to smithereens! Oh, hey, Copen! Do you think you could use that to turn the bath into a hot tub? Sure, if you wanted to fucking explode. Yeah, probably, but you'll need a bathtub that can withstand the blast. There, exactly. A 
Okay, I'm guessing the characters just say the same things. So, Copen, would you like to recharge with me? Oh, okay. I don't know what to say to that, exactly. So, I'm going to leave that alone. Thank you. It's kind of lonely eating by myself. I know you don't need Oh, I can unlock the songs, like the anthems. Songs, song plays when over 1,000 kudos are reached. New songs will override. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to unlock those. I was pretty sure I unlocked one already because I had died and had her bring me back. And with it came a song, so I don't know. Should tell you the requirements for unlocking it. Anyways, now what do we got? Passage to Upper Stratum. Okay, so is this an in between stage before the next set of stages come? I think that might be the case here. But I'm going to own my platforming skills as much as I can, and I will come back next time, and hopefully I will be a bit better, and you won't have to tell me that I suck on the comment section. So until next time, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, or all three. So until next time, this is Mega Metal Man X. Signing out. Peace.